starts right now. It is the breaking news we've been following all day long. A shooting at a Fayette County car wash tonight. Four people are dead. Police believe the gunman was there waiting for them. Only Pittsburgh's Action News 4 was there. A state police searched the suspect's house, pulling out a stash of guns. A lot to get to tonight. Our team there on the scene in the community of Melcroft. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bo Berman live tonight. Bo. Yeah, Jackie Ryan, state police here in Uniontown are leading this investigation, but it's about a 40 minute drive away over in Melcroft, close to Seven Springs, where this all unfolded just before three o'clock in the morning. And it doesn't appear it had anything to do with actually washing cars, even though it happened at a car wash. The big question tonight, why were all of these people there? Tonight, we have learned after a state police press conference, the names of the four victims who died in this. They are as follows, 21 year old Seth Klein, 23-year-old Courtney Snyder, 25-year-old Chelsea Klein, and 27-year-old William Porterfield, who was described as a companion of the 25-year-old Chelsea Klein. We know the suspected shooter is 28-year-old Timothy Smith. State police discussed the weaponry found on him at the scene. Timothy Smith was armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, a 9mm handgun, and also possessed a 308 rifle. Timothy Smith was wearing a body armor carrier without the ballistic panels inserted and had several magazines for the AR-15 and 9mm handgun. Now, state police are not revealing tonight how these six people knew each other. But again, according to family members, we're told that Chelsea Smith was the ex-girl, or sorry, Chelsea uh, Klein was the ex-girlfriend of that alleged shooter, Tim Smith. 28-year-old Tim Smith is clinging to life at the hospital with a gunshot wound to the head, possibly self-inflicted. After Pennsylvania State Police say he shot four people to death this morning at Ed's Car Wash in the small town of Melcroft. Sierra Kolarik says Tim Smith was her sister Chelsea Klein's boyfriend until a breakup before Christmas. I mean, now I can, I can see it. He has a very obsessive personality. And he would leave her stuff on her car. Yeah, she'd get done with work and she'd come out and there'd be a case of beer on her hood or scratch off tickets or anything. If he found out she was sick, he'd bring her flowers. He, he, he loved her. But Kalark believes that love turned to a dangerous obsession and this morning murder. She was fun. That's okay, dude. That's okay. <laughs> Chelsea Klein, her 21-year-old brother Seth Klein, 23-year-old Courtney Snyder, and 27-year-old William Porterfield were all found dead. State police say they have no idea why everyone was at the car wash, but do believe Smith, the shooter, was waiting for them, armed with an AR-15 rifle and a 9mm handgun. Massive bullet holes were visible on the green pickup truck that held Chelsea Klein and William Porterfield. Amazingly, police say a woman in the back seat of that truck ducked down and survived the shooting with only minor injuries from the broken glass. Kalark's boyfriend, Ryan Green, says he'd known Tim Smith for 10 years. There's no explanation for any of this. As far as I know, every single person there was kind-hearted. I've known Tim since I was 15, 16 years old. Multiple state police investigators raided Smith's home nearby where neighbors say he had many firearms. His alleged actions with some of those weapons have now changed the lives of many families forever. It's just crazy. It all boils down to you really never know somebody. Now again, state police saying that Tim Smith is in a hospital on life support. They do not expect him to survive his injuries. They said it's not clear whether this gunshot wound was self-inflicted, but it quite possibly might be. And finally, this area, this car wash, not near a bar, not near a restaurant, very unclear right now why all six people were there before 3 a.m. Reporting live tonight from State Police Barracks in Uniontown, Bo Berman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right, Bo, and just to recap what we know right now, four people are dead. The victims identified as William Porterfield and Chelsea Klein in one vehicle, then Courtney Snyder and Seth Klein in a second vehicle. The suspected gunman, Timothy Smith, is in the hospital on life support. Police say they do not expect him to survive. Also, one woman hid in the back seat of a second vehicle and survived injured only by flying glass. There are so many questions left unanswered tonight. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 will be in Fayette. 
Gwinnett County all night long working to get new information. Tap open the WTAE mobile app anytime for up to the minute details from that scene. More breaking news right now. A shooting in Pittsburgh's Homewood